Here and today I'm going to show you how to solve first order linear ordinary differential equations. So to, to do this, I'm going to start with an example. So let's solve, let's zoom out a bit, solve y prime plus y equals e x. Now, first of all, what does it mean to actually solve a linear differential ordinary equation? Well, we basically want to solve for y, and we want to find the equation or equations which satisfy this solution. So, y is actually equal to y subscript h plus y subscript p, where h is the homogeneous equation. and p is the particular solution. So first of all, we're going to solve the homogeneous equation. And what is the homogeneous equation? Well, this is basically where y prime plus y is equal to 0. So remember this, first order linear ODEs always have the form of y h is equal to c where c is a constant e to the power of negative p1 x dx now you may be asking yourself what is p1 x dx well linear odes are actually of the form p0 x where this is a polynomial y prime plus p1 x y is equal to some function f of x so it's basically the constant term in front of y and in this case for our equation p1 of x is equal to 1 therefore this means that our homogeneous solution is actually equal to c e to the power of minus 1 dx and this is of course equal to y subscript h is equal to c e minus x now let's actually prove why this is the case and why this is also the case of all linear odes so let's have let's move off to the side y prime plus y is equal to 0. Now y prime can be written as dy over dx plus y is equal to 0. Now let's make it dy over dx equal to negative y. And now let's put all terms of y on the same side. So that's dy over dx. Oops, my bad dy over y is equal to minus dx and integrating this integrating both sides i should say we get ln y is equal to minus x plus c and now making y the subject of the formula we get y is equal to c e minus x and if you're wondering what is what happened to the c here, it was basically absorbed into the constant. If you were curious. But anyway, this is just the solution to the homogeneous equation. But our problem is not homogeneous. So we need to find the particular so solution now, yp. And yp is actually equal to u of x y subscript h so since we know this let's find for y prime of p the derivative of the particular solution and doing this we can simply use the product rule so this is equal to y prime of x yh plus 
u of x y prime of subscript h and now let's sub in what y h is equal to this right here u prime of x also just a side note i'll be leaving out the constant c because as you'll see at the end the constant gets absorbed into the equation just thought i'd let you all know that it's equal to u prime of x e minus x minus u of x e minus x and now we sub this in to the original equation what's the original equation i'm talking about well it's this y prime plus y is equal to e x we sub in this and this and we get y prime of x is equal to let's use a different color to separate it u prime of x e minus x minus u of x e to the power of minus x so this is y prime plus y which is equal to u of x y to the power of e minus x let's put that in brackets and this is equal to y this is equal to e x now a bunch of cancelling happens here so for example this cancels with this and we get u prime of x e to the minus x is equal to e to the power of x now let's make u prime of x this the subject of the equation and we get u prime of x is equal to e to the power of 2x and now we want to solve for u of x how do we solve for u of x if we know u prime of x well we integrate so it's equal to the integral of u prime of x is equal to the integral of e to the power of 2x dx which is simply equal to a half e to the power of 2x plus c and here's an example of where the constant that we left out earlier gets absorbed it really doesn't matter until the end but anyway now we want to find our solution which is of course y so let me do that in white yeah so y is equal to y subscript h plus y p which is equal to y subscript h is actually this c e to the minus x plus a half e to the power of 2x and of course the constant here gets absorbed back here and this is the general solution of our equation that's it and thanks for watching